Hey everyone, this is Mr. Ad Oil again, helping you fight your today for your better tomorrow. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the seven reasons why I chose to attend Block or the Thinkful Online Coding Bootcamp. And we're gonna be talking about that coming up. So why did I decide to make this? So I, I know that when I was trying to make this decision for myself, it was a really hard process because there's tons of coding boot camps out there, right? I would have friends of mine who graduated from their coding boot camp who recommended theirs, whether it's like Hack Reactor or App Academy. But then for me, I had to figure out for myself whether their suggestions or recommendation what will be a good fit for me. So in this video series, we're gonna be talking about how you can go through this qualification process that I made for you guys to see if any of these points, any of these arguments resonate with you so you can make a good decision on whether you should attend a similar coding bootcamp like Block. So this message is basically for anyone who's thinking about attending a coding bootcamp. You can either be a recent college grad or someone like me who has planned to switch to software development for a long time. So if that speaks to you, then great. I think the video content that's gonna be coming out in this series is gonna be very helpful for you. Also, I think before you even take this step, you should try to go look at my last video series on how to prepare for a Kony Bootcamp. And along with that video series, I also have a dedicated blog post that I wrote for that. And you can go through that and it's more of a resource to help you prep up for a coding bootcamp. There it's the way I design my, I guess like pre-study before a coding bootcamp would be to simulate a mini coding bootcamp. So I think you should try that out first because it's filled with free resources and just like cheap alternatives versus uh, committing to a coding bootcamp that might cost more of your money and your time. And like I said, the whole video series is designed to be a self-qualification process for you. So the goal is there's gonna be seven arguments on why I chose to attend the Block Online Coding Bootcamp. And then the goal for you is if you resonate with five out of these seven points, then you can strongly consider doing something like I did, right? Attending an online coding bootcamp. And then for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be talking about the first argument coming up. So the first argument is, it's an entirely remote and online coding bootcamp. And now we're gonna be talking about the advantages of why attending an online remote coding bootcamp will be helpful for you, like it was for me. So the first point is you get to learn from anywhere, right? As long as you have access to a computer or a laptop, you can learn from home like I'm doing. I have a really nice setup in the back right here. Or you can take your laptop and bring it to a coffee shop or anywhere else where you feel like that might be an ideal situation for you to learn. And advantage number two, you avoid commuting altogether, right? So when you choose to take an online coding bootcamp that's remote, you avoid all forms of commuting, whether you have to drive to your coding bootcamp or you have to take the bus to the coding bootcamp, right? For me, I live in San Francisco. For me, where I live, which is like in the outer sunset, for me to go commute downtown, whether it's by, I mean, for driving, right? It'll take like 20, 30 minutes on a good day. And that's just driving. You still have to park your car and all that stuff. And then if I had to take the Muni from my location all the way to downtown, that's like, I will say on average, it will be an hour. And on a good day, it'll be like 30, 40 minutes. On a bad day, it could be past an hour. It could be an hour to an hour and 30 minutes based on all the crazy um, commuting traffic in San Francisco, right? So I did a quick calculation. If I were to opt to do an online coding bootcamp, I would save at least 40 hours per month because think about it. So let's say we'll use an hour. It takes an hour to get to the coding bootcamp and an hour to come back. That's two hours per day, right? And then let's say your coding bootcamp is from Monday to Friday. That's 10 hours right there. And you multiply that by four and man, that's like 40 hours. That's like an entire week of working. 
So imagine, for me, I, that won me over a lot because I can reinvest that 40 hours into learning more about coding or doing other things than sitting on the bus. So I think that's a great advantage and you should consider that heavily when you're considering an online coding bootcamp versus uh, on-site coding bootcamp. The third advantage of attending an online coding bootcamp, which is you get to keep the habit of coding at home or in a remote setting after you graduate from a coding bootcamp, if that was on-site versus online, right? So for people who've attended an on-site on coding bootcamp, their coding habits and I guess routine is kind of associated to like commuting, going to work, and then in that setting, they're coding with other students and then have that type of interaction, right? I mean, it could be, it's a double-edged sword. You can make the same argument against an online coding bootcamp, but I would say you retain or you have more of a sustainable programming habit if you choose an online um, remote coding bootcamp because like an example would be like my current setup, right? I'm used to just like waking up and my commute will be just, just be like a minute from my bed to my office and then I start coding. So let's say after I graduate, and I started looking for jobs and then let's say I land upon a remote developer job, then basically everything that I was doing in a coding bootcamp prior to getting hired as a professional developer remains pretty much the same because I'll just be getting up from bed and <laughs> taking one minute or sometimes five minute if I snooze and stuff to get to my desk and then start coding. But with an on-site coding bootcamp, you would have to retrain yourself and adapt based on a different learning environment, a different work environment. And then the last advantage that I wanna put for this argument would be, it's really designed, an online coding bootcamp is really designed for students who have an independent, a stronger independent learning style. Not to mention, not to say that these, these types of students who take an online coding bootcamp can't work well with other people, but it means that for the sake of learning and building that software developer skill set, some students like me, like I think we excel better in an independent learning environment where we can control our pace, control our environment, and then control the amount of hours we're gonna invest into building our skills versus spending it on commuting and all that other stuff or interacting with other students on an ad hoc basis. like in the on-site coding bootcamp. Like it would be, if you were to go out to an on-site coding bootcamp, it will simulate more of an, a brick and mortar college, like school type of environment where there is that social interaction. And it's a double-edged sword because you do get to bond with other students and stuff, but you also get easily distracted. Again, it could be a double argument against the online remote student if they're if they lack self-discipline then they could be easily distracted in this type of environment but for the sake of this argument i would argue that for in more cases that an online remote coding boot camp is more of a better fit for people who are a strong learn independent learner and lastly i kind of want to talk about the disadvantages of this argument right an online remote coding boot camp and I think the only one that I can consider would be to negate my la one of the advantages that I talked about, which is it's designed for independent learners, right? So the counter argument to that is, I think this is the strongest disadvantage is if you are not a disciplined student or if you historically found yourself being distracted or just like this motivated when you're by yourself having to do something, then an online remote Kony bootcamp will probably be a, a waste of your time and a waste of your money because you, I mean, you might choose it for other reasons, but remember, it's like you have to do this for at least like three, four months. And that's, it may sound like a short amount of time or a long amount of time based on your standpoint, but through the everyday process, like you, it, it, it's not sustainable. And then you won't be able to bring your best foot forward 
for your own learning purposes if you get easily distracted. So if this resonates with you, right, that you might not be self-motivated or self-disciplined to learn by yourself, then you should consider attending an on-site coding bootcamp. And that's all I have for this argument. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful. Like I mentioned, I wrote a blog post about this. If you wanna just read ahead and go through that seven step qualification process for yourself, or if you're a video auditory type of learner, then stay tuned, subscribe to this channel for the video series that's coming up soon. And again, this is Mr. Ad Oil, helping you fight your today for your better tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video.